Dust devils like this one in Oregon can form anywhere the conditions are right, usually late morning or early afternoon when the ground is heating up and the air is calm. Warming air near the surface forms a vortex as it rises. Cool air rushes in and circulation is sustained. If loose material like sand or dust is available, a dust devil is born. This video shows that multiple dust devils can form in a localized area, which is what Perseverance saw in Jezero Crater. Iron-rich dust is what makes the red planet red, or reddish actually, and it covers the planet because it hasn't rained in billions of years. On Sol 113 at 1.50 in the afternoon, the nav cam caught two dust devils about five kilometers or three miles away. It looks like they're leaning a bit to the right, so there's probably a light breeze blowing from left to right in this scene. The next day, MassCam Z was surveying the landscape, including Kodiak Mesa, an eroded remnant of the delta that Mars Guy visited in episode four. It caught this wispy dust devil at 12.44 p.m., rising up near the cliffs of the main delta deposit. In this same vista on the Sol before, the nav cam caught this ground-hugging dust devil at the relatively late time of 3.22 p.m. Perhaps afternoon winds were preventing a towering vortex. Towering dust devils elsewhere on Mars are occasionally spotted from orbit with a high-resolution high-rise camera. This one even shows a wide skirt of dust at its base. Although it's rare to spot a dust devil in action on Mars, the tracks they leave behind are easy to find. Wherever the light reddish dust is vacuumed up from the darker sand below, the tracks are formed sometimes with spectacular results. In Gusev Crater, home to the Spirit Rover, thousands of dust devil tracks have darkened the surface. From the summit of the Columbia Hills, Spirit's PanCam looked out across its shiny solar panels to the distant plains of Gusev. Just weeks before, these solar panels were so dusty that Spirit was near death from lack of power. But suddenly and quite unexpectedly, the solar panels were cleaned off. It was in the same period that the Dust Devil Watch movies from the NavCam caught some dust devils in action. These frames span 737 seconds, or about 12 and a half minutes. Putting these events together, it appears that dust devils vacuumed up the dust from Spirit's solar panels, giving it new life. This occurred multiple times over its mission, allowing it to live almost six years beyond its expected lifespan. The InSight lander arrived on the dusty plains of Elysium in November 2018. There are no dark dust devil tracks here, which turns out to make life harder for a solar-powered mission. The clean solar panels generated more than 4,000 watt-hours of power per sol at the beginning of the mission, but that has dwindled substantially with the accumulation of dust. Dust devils have not rescued InSight from approaching death, which has forced the team to prepare for hibernation to survive the coming Martian winter. But late last month, they decided to try to create their own dust devil by scooping up some dirt with the robotic arm and trickling it over the lander deck. A Martian breeze blew some of this dirt across the solar panel, cleaning off enough dust to add 30 watt hours per sol. This should delay hibernation for a few weeks, providing additional time to operate the seismometer in its hunt for rare Mars quakes.